Dig it. Dig it. The digits. Welcome in everyone to Windy City Digits. This is Carl. That's Vic. Um, we just got done watching the uh, Bulls uh, summer league opener against the Dallas Mavericks, which the Bulls won. Um, so, just kind of giving our quick thoughts and recap on the game. So, I'll let you go first, Vic. What do you think about? What do you think about the game? I thought uh, at the beginning of the game was really sloppy, but I guess as you texted me, uh, it is summer league, Vic. Um, yeah, they. they uh, Everybody seemed pretty nervous, except for Simonovich, right at the get-go. Well, that should be, right? Because... Um, it makes sense, yeah. Because he's right. been playing professionally for a while. Yeah. Um, what did you think? That was just, just my initial thoughts right off the bat. I'm not getting into analysis of playing. Uh, you know, I thought overall, you know, for our first game for Summer League... Um, I thought it was okay. I kind of, I was kind of hoping that Marco would kind of dominate a little bit because he is the one guy. Him and Malcolm Hill um, have some experience. You know, some of these other guys have played G League, uh, like Carly Jones from our team played G League last year. Um, you know, um, so I guess kind of what I expected to be honest. Um, so. I, I think the biggest thing is look, you saw a lot of competitiveness. Like they they were down big. Um, uh, at the start of the first, second half. And yep. uh, I think Dallas came out and hit the first, ba first basket right away. And they just kind of kept plugging away at it. So, you know, I, I, it was just fun to watch basketball, right? Even though it's summer league, it was just fun to watch, you know, NBA basketball. It was. So who do you think, uh, played the best? Uh, I think it was Marco hands down. Okay. I agree. You know, I thought Mark I, – I think this is kind of – look, it does look like Marco put some muscle on compared – like, you know, I've mentioned before, I watched him watch – I watched him play a lot at uh, at the Windy City Bulls last year, and you can definitely mm -hmm. tell he's put some muscle on. Um, he was a lot more physical than what I remember when I saw him last year. Uh, seemed to be not afraid of any kind of contact. Um, he – you know, there was – look, he still needs some room for improvement. He, some of his long passes weren't great. Um, but you know, he got a double double today, so yeah, 27 points, 13 rebounds. He had three blocks. Uh, the turnovers were atrocious <laughs> for the Bulls. There were a lot of a lot of offensive um falls, yeah. To be aggressive. And I think they mentioned this in the broadcast, right? I think they've only had one practice, one or two practices together, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, so it's kind of hard to you know gel like per se, but. Look, because with Malcolm, Dallas too, though. Yeah, but look, look, the kid from Dallas, uh, Hardy. His, Hardy, he was he was lights out. I know, um, right? They got to yeah. steal with that kid in the second round. Correct. Um, you know Which, that kid is going to develop. You know they developed that kid. That kid's going to twenty eight points. Um, he had three assists, four rebounds. Yeah, he did and, have six turnovers. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, but uh, that. That would also like, you know, you need just you're looking at our uh, Dale and Terry, and you look at him, and you're like, wow, that's quite the difference right now. Okay, so let's talk, let's talk about some of these rookies, right? So, what do you think of Dale and Terry? Uh, tentative, I would say, um, but very good uh, passer. Yeah, he, he did have he had uh, did he have six assists? I thought he did. Yeah, he had six assists, five rebounds. Nine points, six fouls, but uh, I'm not really concerned about that. But his uh, vision was really good. Uh, defensively, um, I didn't really notice like I didn't really notice him on defense considerably. So I don't know if you noticed that. I was I was more paying attention to his offense. Uh, yeah, look, I think he was. I think tentative was a good word for it. I, I think he just was. Um, you know, he wasn't the point guard at Arizona, you know, and yeah. uh, the, he played basically played point today. Um, and I think he was just, you know, trying to find his way. That's the only thing I think with the summer league, right? Like they're asking him to play the spot because that's what they need. And that's kind of want to see. But we know that with the Bulls, he's not going to play point. 
Well, didn't, um, wasn't Carlyke Jones playing point? Carlyke was, but like when you looked at the sets, right? Dale and Terry was handling the ball quite a bit. He did have the ball a lot. He, I thought he made some really good decisions um, in passing, honestly. I, and yeah. I don't think his turnovers came a lot through passing. I think it was like dribbling through the lane. Yeah, I think a lot of it was just uh, trying to do too much at times, yeah. trying to dribble a little bit too much. And I mean, even, to even, Malcolm, much. Yeah, even Malcolm Hill did that. I mean, Malcolm Hill had seven personal fouls. <laughs> yeah. Um, Isn't that crazy that they have 10 personal fouls um, in Summer League? They don't want the kids to fall out. They just, you know, but no one's ever going to get to that. If anyone ever does get to that, that's, uh, <laughs> you know, that's yeah, crazy. Right. So, who else? Um, okay, so what about Lewis? You know what? I was impressed with Lewis. I was know? too. I, yeah. I thought that, um, look, he, the, he, he can shoot, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, and I like this, his uh, two at the end of the game. He's a, he, he looks a lot bigger than what I thought. Like, uh, like he could be like, I don't know, three slash four, maybe I, I know he's a guard, but like he was, he was a lot bigger than I thought for a guard. Yeah. He reminds me of, uh, Jared Jackson a little bit. Yeah. I think Jared so, Jackson's a little taller though, but, um, but you know, but for, yeah. for a first game, I thought he played great. I actually um, thought he did really well too. Yeah. Um, you know, and then your guy, Freeman Liberty. Uh, Freeman Liberty, I thought, played pretty well, too, honestly. Yeah. He was, was five, five for nine, nine from the field. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. And uh, I, yeah, a couple of times I thought he was, like, trying to uh, push his shot a little too much. But five for nine, I, I, I mean, it would take that any time. Uh, the Bulls needed some scoring there. At first, in that first half, I was like, where, are, where is the shooting? I even, I even said to Mark Janowski when he was saying – there's a uh, little shooting going on. I was like, wow, shocking. The Bulls have little shooting. Yeah. Well, and then they came alive a little bit. The, it like, just seemed like they settled down a lot in the second half. Like the defense yeah. was better. Yeah. Um, you know, they seemed to kind of settle into the roles a little bit. Yeah. Uh, do you see you any know? of these guys? Do you see any of these guys actually? I mean, I can hard to tell on one, one game, but do you see any of these guys being ready? Oh, to be to play at play in the NBA right now. Uh, I I I think Marco's making a case for himself. To be honest, like, uh, look, I saw that. I look, this was uh, a different level, Marco, that I saw then at Windy City Bulls. Like he looked, he looked the part today, right? Um, he. This is how he looked in the Windy City Bulls at times. Not this aggressive. You like, think so? He wasn't this he, aggressive and he wasn't this um vocal. Like when he was flexing after he hit that that three-pointer doing the body bump with uh Kobe, Kobe at the end of the game, he wasn't like that. Like he didn't have that kind of uh Moxie. energy. Yeah, he didn't have that kind of energy. Um like, you know, like I don't know if he was just still trying to put his head down and trying to focus, right? And yeah. just kind of work, but I Look, I I, th I thought he was great. I did too, man. Like, he, what about you? Good. Like, did you did, look? It was it's one game, right? Yeah, it's hard to tell. Um, yeah, I think he uh, brought a lot of defensive energy actually too. He played uh, at the end of the game. He played really good defense against. Uh, I don't. I think it might have been Hardy taking a, a little shot, and then um, I think Malcolm Hill got a uh, got a fall or something. Uh, he created that steal. That one, he did. One he did by moving that up. Yeah, he had some good, uh, good art. You know, great on the floor, moving on the floor offensively. He was moving up and down the floor really well. Yeah, on the defensive for, side, for I thought guy. he was moving. I thought he was moving great too on the defensive side too. Like he was, he didn't seem lost on the defensive side. He seemed to yeah. be engaged. Right, he was grabbing a ton of rebounds. What did he end up with? Thirteen rebounds. Um, yeah, for the game, 20, 27 13 man. Uh, what was this? Let's see. Let me take a quick look here. So, did you catch what Demar said um, in the interview in the beginning of the game? I didn't catch all of it. Yeah, I, I was watching parts of it. I, I, I yeah. thought the interview. Did you hear what he said? I thought the interview went a little bit long. Yeah, some of the questions they were asking about, you know, like, uh, you know, what would advice would you give these guys? You know, like what what do you, you know what do you guys need to do to take the next step? You know, yeah. uh, some of these questions I thought the the interviewer was asking. Um, I don't know. It just seemed to be a little annoying, to be honest. But 
I got mm -hmm. you. I get she's got to ask some of these questions, but um, look, I thought Demar was Demar. You know, he answered the questions great, and you know, he told the you know when they asked about you know what do you just tell these kids? He's like, look, enjoy the moment. You know, like you got to put the uniform on. Like he's like, it's yeah. a practice jersey, but you still got to put the uniform on, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he's like, just enjoy the moment. Like you know, show your skills, show your game, right? And you know, like one way or the other, like, you know, you got to keep working at your craft. And he kept saying, like, look, I'm 30 something. I still got to work on my craft. Like, I got to keep working at it. So, you know, one um, thing I did like uh, about Dale and Terry's um, just his attitude. Did you see him smiling a lot out there when there yeah. was when he was getting falls uh, call on him? The one time he hung on the rim barely and they called that. I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah. He didn't even understand that either. Yeah. And he was laughing most of the time about it. I liked I liked his attitude. Um but ultimately, I really like this passing. I, it'd be nice to see him shoot a little, a little more, and I think that's that's what this, they say the Bulls are looking forward to that improving. Well, let's, that's, let's, I, that's why I don't understand the picks. Though. Look with the first uh, with the first game out of the way. Let's see how these guys do after game two and three. I know they're guaranteed at least five games, right? But um, look, if Marco stays consistent here. So, like, what, he got the double-double today, right? He got the 13 rebounds and, what, 26, 27 points? Does that they yeah. get the right? 27 uh -huh. points? So He'll be back up Patrick Williams. If he gets another if he gets another double-double the next game, yeah. um, you know, that's what you're looking for, right? Um, hopefully, Dale and Terry can cut down on the turnovers mm -hmm. the next game. Um, Freeman Liberty is a little more comfortable shooting, right? Uh, yeah. Justin Lewis, a little more. But I thought overall, for a first game, I, I really have no complaints. Yeah, I, I did, their their shooting was atrocious in the first half. But I, I let's just chalk that up to being nervous. Um, I don't know. Looking forward to to see how Simonovich comes out, and I, I think uh, Lewis and um, Freeman, Liberty, and Terry are all going to be like works in progress. Quite honestly, yeah. 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 All right. So, so see, after seeing what you see saw today and looking at the way the roster's set up now, like, I don't know, does this give you uh, any more confidence in the in the roster? Like, no. <laughs> you know, like, like, Not really. like, I was hoping to see. Well, I, I think it's hard. Like, like we both said just now, it's hard to see. I mean, I would like to see Terry have some kind of shot. I didn't see much of that. Um, his passing, his vision was great. Um, defensively, I have to pay attention a little bit better. But uh, then, yet yeah, Sim Simonovic, if he continues this, he's a good number four backup to Patrick Williams. And it would be nice to have a, a solid backup who could score along with Andre Drummond at the five on the second unit. That would be – just that alone would be extremely important for the Bulls' progress. So that's the thing, right? Uh, so I, I, I feel – if Marco continues this trend, that it totally strengthens yes, it does. the Bulls lineup because we, we already we, we already know we're guard heavy, right? Yes. Assuming everyone at the guard positions are healthy, right? Yep, yep. That gives you a little bit of time to get Dale and Terry to kind of grow into the role, right? Um, yep. So that you know you don't have to worry about rushing him along. So him developing a shot, it's not that big of a deal. But if Marco can come in and give you spot minutes and at least know that he's going to give you some good defense. He's going to get you some rebounds, maybe some offense, right? Um, mm -hmm. That's that's huge, I think. No, that's, a, that's enormous. And I, I would also say that um, just even looking at – I actually like Javante Javon, uh, Free, uh, Freeman Liberty better than I did Dale and Terry in terms of like a, being a – a solid backup for just in case Lonzo Ball gets hurt or, um, I don't know, one of our other guards. I think yeah. he would be able to – I think he's more ready, actually, than Dale and Terry at the moment. But Dale and Terry probably has a better potential. Right. All right. Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in to this video. We appreciate everyone that's been watching the channel and joining us on our live streams when we're on. If you haven't had a chance yet, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. It does help us out here in the channel. Uh, also hit the bell and get notified. So especially when we go live, you're notified as to what's going on. We do appreciate us following us on Twitter and here on the channel. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Love. And digits.